Hello, hello. What's up, Facebook world? Really late one on this Aloha Friday. It's actually almost over. <laughs> Pretty busy day, so I'm going to get right to it. My name is Vili Toilolo, and I like to share these messages Monday through Friday, give you a daily dose of positivity so that you and I, we can be the best versions of ourselves. Today's topic is a really cool one. Today we lost an icon. We lost a legend. Muhammad Ali passed away today. And I wanted to share some of my favorite quotes of the greatest of all time. Then um, I have a little illustration that I want to share with you. So uh, if you get value out of this, which I hope you do, please uh, throw me a like, share this. Feel free to comment. I'm going to make this one really short because it's kind of late. But I promise to do these. So some of my favorite quotes. And um, I uh, encourage you to Google Google these because he has a lot of quotes. Well, he did a lot more action. But uh, this great man had a lot of quotes. So if you were with me yesterday... Uh, thank you, Joel, for for letting me know. I didn't know he passed away today, but yesterday I quoted him, and that was on the subject of talking to yourself, talking highly of yourself, encouraging yourself. When he said, I'm the greatest of all time, he said it over and over again, and he believed it. I mean, he said it hundreds, maybe thousands of times, and millions of people repeated him and believed him, and he was the greatest of all time, and I, I still believe he is. Um, but it all started by him saying it over and over again. So whatever you want to be, just repeat it to yourself. That's a very good step, but you got to do more than that. You got to do action. But it started with this affirmation. Okay. Now, he had a lot of funny quotes. If you know anything about this great man, he was a comedian too. Hey, what's up, everybody? Peyton and Hiram. Taking advantage of the summer, yeah? And Friday night, up late. Well, welcome, Tina. Welcome, welcome. It was a very, very funny man. At times, controversial. Controversial and... Okay, I almost lost you there. Well, let's just get into it. Like, this first one, it's hard to be humble when you're as great as I am. And it's not bragging if you can back it up. This is what he said, man. He believed it too. I like this one. Age is whatever you think it is. You're as old as you think you are. He said, I'm so fast that last night I turned off the light switch in my hotel room and was in bed before the room was dark. Now this one I really liked. Hating people because of their color is wrong. And it doesn't matter which color does the hating. It's just plain wrong. Friendship is not something you learn in school, but if you haven't learned the meaning of friendship, you really haven't learned anything. This one was cool too. If you ever, if you even dream of beating me, you'd better wake up and apologize. <laughs> this was inspirational. I hated every minute of training, but I said, don't quit. Suffer now and live the rest of your life as a champion. Two more. The fight is won or lost far away from witnesses, behind the lines, in the gym, and out there on the road, long before I dance under those lights. Hey, Farron. Hey, David. Hey, very welcome, Auntie Tongi. And last one before I get to the illustration. Champions aren't made in the gyms. Champions are made from something they have deep inside them. A desire, a dream, and a vision. It's really deep. I'm going to remember that one. Now, those last two quotes hinted toward doing the work. I mean, to me, I, I saw a theme in those last two quotes. And it was doing the work when nobody's looking. Doing the work, the hard work, in preparation before the big day. Yeah, 
Hey, Michael Barty, what's up? My old friend from Washington. Desire, Dream, and a Vision. That, that's got to be my favorite too. So that one that I just shared with you, the Desire, Dream, and a Vision. And also the other one where uh, he said, champions are made in the gym. It reminds me of this. I'm sorry if you can't really see it that well. But it says, success, sorry, it's kind of blurry, is an iceberg. How many of you have seen this before? I'll copy it in the comments below because it's coming along. See, what people see is that this here on top, the nice things, of the great parts of success. But nobody sees, it's just too blurry, so I'll, I'll put it in the comments below. What people don't see is the persistence, the failure, the sacrifice, even disappointments, the good habits that you form, the hard work and the dedication. So those two quotes, I'll even put them in the, in the comments below also, all allude to this, that success is an iceberg. So may we all, you and I, of course this is for me to work on all that bigger part below. And don't even worry about what people can see, right? That's not why you're doing it anyways, right? Why do we work so hard for our families? It's not so that everyone else can see it. It's just for us to provide for our families or whatever you're working toward. If you're working toward being the best marathon runner, you don't go running around you know, in front of everybody just to show them that, yeah, I'm working on my marathon. So that's just something that I just wanted to share. Dustin, my cousin Dustin, we go way back. So I'll share the quotes. I'll share this. I hope you got value out of this. Thank you very much for bearing with me. Very late post. Happy Aloha Friday. We'll see you on Monday. If you got value out of this, please share it. I appreciate it. So we can uh, spread the positivity. Be thankful and stay blessed.